All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. Don't even look at that continue right there. Nope. You didn't see anything. You didn't see a thing. Uh, we're going to do Samson today. Tainted Samson. He's the last one I haven't actually used. Um, Although I have used him. I'll get to that in a second. Let's first look up what that does. It hurts. I think that is good. Taking damage causes Isaac to fire a circle of 10 tears around him, each dealing 10 damage. After taking damage, you gain a plus 1.2. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like, it's almost like bloody gust in a way. But not for the floor, it's for just for a room. So yeah, it hurts isn't bad. Um, definitely better than the last run we just recorded. Which, you know, um, I tried recording two runs with Tainted, Tainted Samson here. The first one, I ended up getting Curse the Blinded Floor 2. And I ended up... Ow. That... Ow. I ended up getting Curse the Blinded Floor 2. Uh, and then it, the game gave me um, Cursed Eye in a secret room. I saw... A, I saw a secret room item pedestal and it was like it was like oh okay let me let me go ahead and snag that real quick i snag it it was cursed eye i was mind blown um and i just kept getting teleported i had to fight the second floor boss like seven times that was a weird angle let's, let's be honest yeah it was a weird angle now that we're, uh, let's, let's stop getting hit. Let's also see if we can <clears throat> kind of do something else on this first floor. We do have a mini boss here. Have him open up the arena a little bit. Nice, a sticky nickel. Can I hit both? Oh! Turned to a savage, pocket, pockets got fatter, she called me daddy. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, the last two runs didn't go well for us. Uh, the first one, Curse the Blind, Cursed Eye. The second one, I, I was, I was just playing the run, like, <clears throat> like I was commentating, playing the run. And the next thing I knew, we were on depths. We were on like depths one and I realized that we were in depths. I was like, wait, we're in depths one right now. And we hadn't gotten a single like a single <clears throat> like meaningful upgrade at all. Like I didn't I don't think we had a single great item. And I was like, what the hell? And we even got an angel deal. I was like, I was mind blown. And then I ended up dying. And so we're going to try again. I want to get a successful run with Samson. Um, he's a very good character. I did buy Nightlight there because I am a fan of Nightlight. You know what? I'll buy a $3 bill. Or buy. I'll take $3 bill. I like $3 bill. I think it's it, it's goofy. It's zany. It's fun. It, it can put us in danger, but I'm praying. I'm just, I'm just going to pray that it doesn't. Because we could get like a fire mine tier come out and just kill us. We could get a. Is there really anything else? I don't think Ipecac is in three dollar bill anymore. Did it even used to be in three dollar bill, or am I just, or did I just make that up? Got a vault here. I'm actually tempted to go into it just in case we can find a soul heart. Okay, this is gonna take a while, but I th but like this is really worth it. If the game lets you do it, you do it, man. I want to save this. I, I want to save bombs here, so. Ooh. That scared the shit out of me. Double tears up here. That's. I mean, what, oh, what more could you ask for? What more could you ask for? What more could you ask for? That sounds like an Eminem lyric. I'm in a four horse. What more could you ask for? <clears throat> I 
I'm in a four tours. I mean, what more could you ask for? Uh, Devil Deals. Interesting play, to say the least. Do we go for it, though? You know what? Yeah, let's take the no trinket because we don't need... We don't need your your active items anymore. We we have we have the active item we want for the rest of the game. Unless we get an HP generator. What would be really dope is um backpack trinket smelter mom's box. Do a little do a little pick a pika run. Okay, we're gonna go buy that soul heart now that we have enough. Um we actually didn't go into the Devil Deal because I, I just realized that when you leave the room, usually the Devil Deal is gone. And so, yeah, we're just going to go down because I just completely forgot about that. Now, this is a good run. This is the run I've been looking for. Three tiers upgrades in one floor. We're already almost maxed out. Now, don't give us any more because we don't need them. Why? I keep fighting this guy. All three runs I've played, I fought, I've fought this guy. <clears throat> I don't think we want left hand. I think we want to keep no for now until we get something that could maybe be a little bit better for us. Like perhaps a uh, the telescope lens I, I like a lot. That should not have hit me, I don't think. I, I feel like I am um, backed up there. That wouldn't be bad, but I think we still want to keep no, just to keep our, um, <clears throat> I want to go as long as possible without seeing an active item. If you don't know what no does, it's going to, uh, make it to where you don't spawn any more active items or also known as space bar items. And I think it's really good because of that. Um, especially if I have mom's trinket box because I like mom's trinket box. So yeah, uh, just talking about um, Tainted Samson a little bit. I think he's very good. <clears throat> I don't want to speak too soon, but I think he might be... Like, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about it. I think he might be the... Uh, we're going to use the sun card, I think. He might be the best uh, Tainted character. I mean, he doesn't really have any downsides to him, I don't think. Uh, I'm not going to take that one because I feel like it's not good. I used to, I used to like, live by that item. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Like, I used to love taking that item. I was like, dude, there's nothing... Like, like, dude, this item is elite. The only, the only way I'll take this item is if we get Trisagon in the uh, angel deal here. If we get an angel deal and get Trisagon, because it is very good with Trisagon. Um. So yeah, uh, another reason I'm not going to take that item is because. That is one of those items. There's a couple in the game. Trisagon's one of them, but I like Trisagon too much to not take it. Um, oh, I'm I've went on I'm I'm on record saying Brainworm is the best trinket in the game. So why would I pass up the best trinket in the game? Oh, I can't give you Dunce Cap, can it? Forgot about that. Yeah, dude, we're getting a bunch of good trinkets here. The only way I'll give up Brainworm is if we get a really good, like, like a cancer trinket. I'd give up Brainworm for, and maybe Curved Horn with the damage we have right now. I think I'd give up, give up, or give up Brainworm from Curved Horn. But Brainworm is just so good. Like, it might be the best trinket in the game. It's homing, but better. <clears throat> it's homing, but you're almost guaranteed to, like, like you're pretty much guaranteed to hit every shot. Oh uh, yeah, we'll go in the we'll go in the sacrifice room. Why not? Hey, free soul heart. I'll take it. This run is is shaping up to be beautiful. Might shed a tear, even. Yeah. So um, oh dude, that that'd be such a good uh, synergy. I think the super secret room is also in this room over here. So let me. 
Let me go check for that. Because I think it's... I'm guessing it's right here. It is. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll play a little bit. Um, Chewed Pin. I don't think I want... I, I think Chewed Pin is alright, but... I mean, it's Brain Worm. If I give up the No Trinket for Brain Worm and Counterfeit Penny, I'm going to... I'm going to give up, um... What the hell was that item? Am I on hard mode? Have you guys ever seen like a like a bunch of um like tinted rocks in your run and you just immediately think, am I on hard mode? <laughs> I always I always immediately go to that. I'm like, am I even on hard mode? Did I accidentally start the run on normal? Okay, so moving forward, we want a damage upgrade pretty badly. Um, Brainworm's gonna help us in many a ways. Two of diamonds. I'll just go ahead and use that. I, I want to keep the strength card for as long as possible. Like, if we run into, like, uh, if we get Bombino on this floor, I'll, I'll you definitely use the strength card because that is ridiculous. The most ridiculous boss in the game, considering when you fight him. Like, he should definitely be a, a... They should either tone him down, but if they had to keep his design the exact same, he should be like a Depths boss, at, at the very least. Maybe even Womb. And he's harder... He's harder than Mama Gertie. 100%. Yeah, so the Berserk mode... You know... For me on this run, I'm not relying on it. Uh, on the past two runs I did, I did rely on it. Like, I kind of played every room. Right? Yeah, this is good. I don't think I've used Tech 1 in Repentance that much. But I think it is good. If I'm not mistaken- oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's good. I forgot I had Brain Worm. Or actually, is it good with Brain Worm? Because, like, it is going to curve. And I was going to say, didn't a chest just spawn? I thought, I, I couldn't see it. Is it good, though? Because it's going to curve. Oh, the bastard box is interesting. Because we're full on soul heart, so I almost feel tempted to grab it. I don't know why I'm clearing this room. What the hell? Okay, I'm glad I grabbed it because the synergy is insane. There's another left hand. Um, thank you for that game. So tech goes through enemies, and so what I'm thinking is maybe it's not that good with brain worm because the brain worm's gonna kind of curve it. Maybe if I wanted it to it to go in a straight line, but it's also going to make it easier to hit targets like around around objects. So I don't know. It seems very um just kind of preference here. Kind of what I think is going to happen. And I think tech is... I think tech brainworm's fine. I can't believe damage isn't our lowest stat. I mean... Even more tempted to get the bastard box now. Really? We may be able to do Stanley here. The thing about the bastard box is that it's going to take. Oh my god! Look at look at that fire rate when we get hit in a room. The bastard box is going to take twelve soul hearts away from me, and I'm most likely going to take damage on this run again. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it. I think it's hard for me to justify taking it. And yeah, let's head on down. Again, Brain Worm, the only thing I'll trade off for Brain Worm is like Curved Horn or... I don't even think I'd trade Crack... I don't even think I'd trade Brain Worm for uh, Cracked Crown. Because of the huge nerf it got. But like Cancer Trinket is a yes. Uh, curved Horn is a yes. Obviously, because damage is like the number one thing we need right now. Yep. One, one in Hematemesis there, that's very good. 
Man, I, I feel like the game's gonna make me regret not taking the uh, Alabaster's box. I call it the Bastard Box because when I first ever saw it, I was watching Huts and he calls it the Bastard Box. But it's called Alabaster's Box, and what it's going to do is you charge it with, um... Charge it with soul hearts instead of charges, and when you activate it, I think it gives you two angel deal items. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it gives you two angel deal items. And maybe like some soul hearts or something, or, or an eternal heart or something. Not bad by any means. Just not uh, what I need right now. Not, not, not practical. It's really good if you have an influx of soul hearts, but a lot of times you're not going to. Oh, we're going ham. We are literally murdering. What did we do to deserve this? Oh no, Dunce Cap. Wait, Dunce Cap brain? Dude, if Dunce if we- If Dunce Cap appears in this run, I'm taking it. Ooh, car battery is going to be good for us. It's going to allow us to flip through trinkets even faster. Um, I will take that. So yeah, as you see, like we're gonna spawn two trinkets every triple shot. Not terrible, but I don't think I'd take a, a multi shot here. I think we're good with what we have. Uh, yeah, we have enough consumables to to do this sure man like <laughs> Give me satanic Bible right now. I will take satanic Bible Is that even I don't even know what metal plate does I'm gonna be honest should I look it up Because I'm not entirely sure what it does I'll, all I know is that it's an item that I take because it doesn't have a downside <laughs> it's, the, it's the only thing I know about that item so we're on neck one here. Uh, I really want to trade some of my some of my red heartage. We have way too much. Imagine having this much. It's not that bad in repentance, but imagine having this much red heartage in um in afterbirth. You would be mind blown. Adversary kind of got ran through right there, and we're gonna get the keys for Stanley. Um. Ooh, Immaculate Heart. Yes, sir. Oh, I, di I didn't even see him charging up. I thought he just got caught up on that thing right there. Dude, Tainted Samson with Tech 1, it like. It might be the best item for uh, Tainted Samson because as you're running up and hitting them in your rage mode, you're also shooting tech tears and you're, you have a tech like ring around you. Just so much damage. Uh, Curse of the Blind. Please don't get screwed over right here. I'm going to take the uh, item room. Just please don't screw me over, game. Please. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what's this? Sure, I'll take Sackhead. Okay, we'll just throw the rest in here. If we come to the end of the floor and end up having more money, we'll just go and throw it into the donation machine. Please don't screw me over. Um, that's not great with Immaculate Heart, but it is a damage upgrade for our tech, so I can't really complain. Yeah, hard to complain about that. I'm going to check if the secret room's here. I don't know if I put it in the right spot. Just in case. I, I want to try to, oh, it's going to be here. And I'm, I'm going to, I'm about to play him, actually. <laughs> Let's go fight this room first, if it's good. You know, we'll just... Okay. 
I forgot it was Curse of the Blind for a second there. Oh my goodness. Why is our ring so big now? We have like a we have like a tech X ring. Oh my dude. I'm not gonna lie. I have never needed this much HP ever in Isaac. Even in repentance. I do I do not need this much red heart HP. Okay, okay. Flying and a movement speed up, I will definitely take that. Yeah, I mean, uh, this run is good. Finally, I get a good run. I feel like it's been so long because I've had, like, a really, really good run. The thing about the, the rage mode is you can, like, if you can keep it going, like, look, look we're going to be able to clear so many rooms with this. Yep, fully recharged. Boom, hit him. Hurry up. No. It went out on me. Rip. Oh, a homing shot with this would be insane. We wouldn't even need, um, we wouldn't even need brain worm at that point. Uh, we need the tinted skull. Which I'm not even paying attention to whether I find it or not because I'm smoking the opposition. I'm, I'm too busy smoking the opposition here. Go, 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 go. Pulse worm, no thanks. Okay, so we full cleared. I didn't even realize that. We full cleared. I uh, did not look in one single room for the tinted skull, so it could literally be right here. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, let's go fight mom, absolutely destroy her, I presume, and then, uh, <clears throat> hopefully get an angel deal, devil deal, devil deal at this stage, absolutely, got a little explosive o action, ooh, we can do boss rush, I'm going to do boss rush, um, Polaroid or negative? Let's take the negative. I'm down to, to take take the damage here. Um, uh, yeah. It could could have literally been anything. Oh my goodness, we are getting our rage mode so fast in here, and we're gonna be able to spawn a bunch of trinkets. We have a ton of red hearts, and most of these bosses are going to just drop red hearts for us. Where's the little horn? I didn't. I did not even see. Like I saw the fire, but I. I, I don't know what went through my head. Ah, oh, damn it. I messed up by putting trinkets near near this area. Because I'm going to end up picking them up. I'm going to end up picking them up with my slap. I was gonna say I wouldn't doubt if we just get rage mode again right there. Yeah, that's the thing. We're gonna pick up all these trinkets we don't want. We're spawning so many trinkets though. We wanna keep brain worm. Getting harder and harder to do so though with all these trinkets. I don't even mind just letting it run out. I thought the heart was dead.
Are you still alive? Okay, well, um... We just ran through boss rush in probably record time. <laughs> so, yeah. Wait, um... Do I want to do dogma? I was playing like I was doing dogma. Do I, do I want to do dogma? I could... I don't think dogma would be a problem, but do I want to? I, no, no, we have both keys. We want to do Stanley. 100%. I think I just wanted the full card to just get out of the mom fight. And come back here. Where we're going to put a tiny bit in our donation machine. Uh, yeah, let's go in the curse room. Might as well. Sacred Heart? Ooh, I'll take that too. Tears down. Nice. There goes our tears up we got from from the halo there. Okay, so the only thing I'm fearing now is the amount of red hearts we have is going to hinder our uh, angel deal chance for the rest of the run. It's the only problem I'm having right now. I should not have taken this many red hearts. But having a lot of red hearts is still good. I do want to fight uh, Mega Stan here. So, yeah. Not gonna go dogma. I'd rather be able to do boss rush, mom's heart, you know, um... Oh, this is actually perfect. Curse the exhale on... On the... Uh, on the womb. We love curse the exhale on the womb around these parts. I was going to say, did I leave with Brain Worm? Because it didn't look like it was working. That is the Dice Bag, which isn't terrible, but it's not... It's not this item good. I mean, might as well. Holy sh I was actually just trying to get my angel deal. <laughs> that could be good. Hush? I think we do hush. I think we can do hush. I don't know why I'm clearing room still, but... I feel like I, c I was going to come back for something. But I don't know what it was. Give me a half charge. I don't want a full charge on my thing. I think we can do hush. Especially with- I think I'm going to use the strength card in here, too. I think we could just, like, power through Hush with how much HP we have. Going item rooms. Holy water is going to be beautiful here against Hush. Uh, sure, we'll take Play-Doh cookie. See what's in our shop. Ooh. I don't think we have enough damage for me to want to take that. I think we'll just leave it. Keep the trinket box. We're still keeping our hopes alive for a, um... Still keeping our hopes alive for a, uh... What am I even saying? Uh, curved horn. Alright, let's do it. I think we got this. Infinite range. The rage mode is insane against Hush. I can't believe it's doing that much damage.
Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm actually mind blown that it's doing that much damage against Hush. Oh, we just had a little bit of homing action going on right there. If we're handling Hush like this, dude, I'm kind of... I kind of want to go Delirium. Delirium is the hardest boss in the game by a mile, man. And I think we have a good chance to beat him here. What the hell just happened? What was that? <laughs> Wait, what the hell just happened? I hit something through the prism or something. What the hell? Yeah, I mean, Hush just got handled. He got handled. Soul of Samson. I think we're gonna go down for now, man. It it kind of hurts because I feel like we could have we could beat Delirium, but I don't know, man. I feel like we have the key pieces, we have the opportunity to beat the Lamb and and uh, Stanley here. I think we I think we go down. Ooh, it kind of hurts leaving that delirium portal behind, but and although I wasn't pressed pressed with the, his damage against Hush, I think we we are in for something completely different with uh with delirium. So because honestly, our tech wasn't barely doing anything. I was just impressed with the rage damage. But in all honesty, if we're playing delirium, how often am I going to like? Do you think I'm going to go up on delirium and like try to? Try to get on top of him? Like, no. I'm gonna try to play- I'm, I'm gonna be trying to play my range and... Trying to beat him from afar. So yes, that's kind of my reasoning behind not... Not hitting, uh, Delirium there. That was so simple, bro. The rage mode is insane. Love the rage mode here. It's just so much damage. And yeah, let's go down. Let's go down. We can defeat the lamb and then come back and defeat Stanley. Um, we'd have to get a Delirium Portal after Stanley if we, like, want to get super, super lucky. I will be taking the Pentagram here. Uh, that's probably it, though. Not too impressed by those, by those, um, items. Well, and don't get me wrong, I'm impressed by those items on... Like, uh, hold on, let me go back real quick. On any run... Like, Dark Bomb, yeah. Juice Shadow, yeah. The Nail, fine. But just on this run right now where I'm at, like, I'm, I'd rather keep my HP. Which sounds insane because I have a bunch of HP. Also, how do you get through this room without getting hit? Because that was just absurd. Also, we have to watch out because I don't know how much health we have. I was going to say, is that even... <laughs> is that going to let me pick it up? Or like, what's going on here? Don't want either of those. Thanks for the offer, though. And sometimes, I don't even know what's going on. Like, or with this character. I think this is the... It's probably my favorite Tandy character, though. I mean... Like, he, he doesn't have any crazy gimmick. He's just good. Like, he's just a good character. 
And uh, most of the Sanja characters are not like that at all. They are... Oh, we're full on red hearts. Still maybe hoping out for a Cancer or Curved Horn play, but... I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, I don't, I don't need that. I don't think, I don't think that's a good item. Or not even a good item, just an item that helps me here. Every item's a good item. Except for Cursed Eye. Okay. Lamb time. He's dead. No victory lap. No Delirium Portal here, but remember, we have to go back and fight my boy Mega Stan. So even if we don't end up getting a Delirium Portal here, I'm still really proud. Like, not proud. But uh, this was a good run. I mean, there's, there's not much else you could say here. Um, Stanley, I, I want to see how, how fast Stanley gets destroyed here. Actually wasn't that fast, but he is kind of hard to hit with the rage mode, so it kind of makes sense. Oh, I thought I thought he was I thought he backed up for like the to spawn in other other peeps. We're not in the clear yet, by the way. Okay. I don't know how much health we're at, by the way. We could be at two. We could die here. I, I should probably be playing a little bit more safe. Some of these shots he shoots out are absurd, like... There we go. Yeah, Nightlight was not helping us there. Okay, didn't get the Delirium Portal, that's fine though. That's what, four unlocks? Oh, we unlocked the crane game, let's go. The crane game, you can spend five coins every time and there's an item in the crane game. And um, it's usually a decent item, so I, I like the crane game. I'm glad we unlocked that. So yeah, that was Tainted Samson. I had a good time that run. I feel like I almost died at the end though. I'd like to know how much HP I had. Um, So yeah, that was a uh, that was Tanya Sampson. I really like him. Uh, the Crane game, respectable, respectable unlock there. Look at what we got just in that. Like, look at the post-it note just from that one run. Like, that is insane. Like, look at all the other characters compared to him. Well, besides Apollyon, because I think we've had two good Apollyon runs, obviously, because we did. And um, was it who did I do the five? It was regular, regular Bethany. But yeah, Zazel obviously is the only one that has Delirium. <clears throat> but, I mean, Samson, uh, six unlock, Right? Six, yeah. Six 
no, no it's achievements done in one run so yeah appreciate everyone for watching and i will see you guys in the next run